Okay, so this video is by request from uh, the process. And uh, I got time right now to um, make this video because my mom moved in with us. To, well, she got here yesterday. Thank you, Lord, that she got here safe. And uh, that's quite a, quite a travel from Washington State to New Mexico. But this video is about the CB650 bobber that I'm building by request of the process. <laughs> what are my thoughts on what I want to do with it? And, uh, well, I can tell you that I've been waiting six weeks as of today for the hardtail, uh, weld on hardtail that we ordered for the, um, the bobber. This CB650 will be a um you know a build um i always get lost for words when i try to do videos with sh shades on but um dang gum it anyway it's gonna be a custom bobber i uh, bought risers for it already for the handlebars be using the the original forks be using the original rims with new tires, of course. Um, I haven't really, I'm not in a position to actually try and start the motor to see how it's going to do or if it'll even crank off or whatever. But um, I did check the oil in it and the oil looks really good in it. So it might just fire right up. Um, it did sit for seven years. And um, so, um, yeah, we're going to, we're waiting on the hardtail that we ordered from Low Bro Customs, which I don't know why, but if I had known that they send the order off to Voodoo Customs to do the build, I probably would have just went through Voodoo Customs. Or tried to, you know, bypass the uh, the middleman. But uh, yeah, it, they said two to six weeks, and well, it's been six weeks as of today. So, but uh, I I the other I have a video on the um, the fank fake fank <laughs> the fank the fank gas tank or oil tank, the fake oil sump that I made the other day for the bobber and I'll have to make a, a, a custom battery box and um, I'm still looking for a gas tank for it. Um, I thought I would be able to find a good uh, peanut gas tank or something around, you know, that looks kind of like a peanut gas tank for a reasonable price used, but um, I'm not finding any. Uh, I've looked all over eBay several times and, you know, because stuff gets posted on there all the time. So I'm always on there looking for parts that I can use to customize the bobber. Uh, I'll probably be making my own rear fender and uh, I won't have a front fender. Um, I already got the headlight, which is a, yellow lensed uh, bobber style headlight. I know the process wanted me to use a 1920s, uh, old 1920s headlight, but I'd already bought in that one uh, when he had mentioned that. Uh, I did order the uh, solo seat and springs. So they're on their way. Uh, I'll probably, well, not probably, but I will fabricate my own sissy bar for it and probably have um, a passenger pad on the rear fender. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use the original um, pegs. <clears throat> and uh, I'm probably going to incorporate some um, forward controls for the uh the shifter and the the rear brake and and everything so it'd be a little bit you know 
more comfy, you know. And uh, I may, uh, I have, I'm planning to use the original uh, handlebars, but with forward control uh, controls on the the shift the shifting lever and the the rear brake may me need might need something a little bit more comfy like maybe some uh, tilted handlebars and so that you don't have to be leaning forward so much like like a uh, like a belly dancer <laughs> I don't know um yeah, you know, uh, I have to, um, oh, another thing that I have to fabricate is the, um, the linkage, where the linkage went for the rear brake, uh, I have to fabricate a, a bracket right there, because when I, uh, when, when you chop the, the original frame, uh, it actually chops that out of there, you know, to, to, to install the um the hardtail or rigid and um so i'll have to make uh, um my own customized bracket for that um linkage back there to the the rear brake uh as far as like turn signals and everything i don't think i'm gonna have turn signals because i'm gonna have to wire this myself <coughs> and um less wiring the better uh, there we can use hand signals or or whatnot but i do want to get everything powder coated so that's going to cost some and uh, if i was to get the um the wiring custom made it would be a, a little chunk of money too but i think i can do it you know i mean it's it's, it's pretty uh i can just use all the the connectors from the old wiring harness and um rewire it myself i think i mean we'll see you know uh no hurry uh, <laughs> been waiting six weeks on the hardtail you know it, it's uh i mean i've been patient man but you know now we're at the six weeks and it's like hey man you know where's it at you know we've we've contacted low bro customs and they've been real pleasant with us and uh asking us to be patient and everything well your 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 ad says uh two to six weeks well it's been six weeks man where's it at you know i'm trying to make money here too you know um <laughs> you guys got my money and i haven't gotten my product i'm just you know that's just the way i am you know most of the time i don't even do that kind of stuff i usually just build it myself but i figured what the heck you know i'm still gonna have to weld it all up and i believe it only comes tacked you know so I still have to weld everything and may have to move some a bar or two around or something to accommodate whatever, you know, I'm I'm gonna do to it. So But yeah, that's where I'm at on it. Um the frame and everything is free and clear. It has no leans on it, it has nothing like that. I still have to do a customized um title and all that stuff once I get it all ready and and everything and um yeah, I still need to get grips and um, some spark plugs and maybe I'm going to probably do a carburetor kit on it, on the carburetors. Um, and do that myself and yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I'm just trying to uh, take it as it comes and, um, you know, not in no rush, you know, on the bobber uh I don't want to rush it because I just want everything to be just right. You know, I want everything to be just right. And you know what I was telling my wife? I might even just give it away once I'm done with it. I might just give it away. You know, if I, if I've come across somebody that's staying clean and sober and seeking God and, and wants to ride, man, I might, and they don't have a bike, man, maybe I'll just give it to them. <laughs> that's the kind of person I am, man. I, I don't have much either. You know, it's, it's, uh, you know, I, I, try to provide for my family in the best way that I can and, and uh you know according to the government you know I'm crazy as it comes you know schizophrenic paranoid schizophrenic schizoaffective um you know but uh I think I'm a pretty good guy I just say that uh God made me with a beautiful mind you know 
Wish everybody would just accept me for me and say, yeah, he's a little nutty, but man, he's a loyal dude. He's integrate. He's got, he honors, he's got honor. He, um, you know, he's, he, he wasn't always a good guy, but, but man, he sure has come a ways. That would be great. Kind of like, you know, we want to hear from Jesus, you know, in you, my faithful servant, I am well pleased, you know. I just like to hear that from man every now and then. That'd be great. <laughs> anyway, I wore these shades for you today, process. And uh, I don't like the eyes. <laughs> anyway, my opinion. Love you, brother. Bye.